Hey boys and ghouls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a general love reading for my fiery Aries. Hey Aries, hope you guys are doing well and are in the best of health. Sending you all my love and well wishes. So you guys know the drill. It is a general. It may or may not resonate with you. If it does, awesome. If it doesn't, I'm so sorry, but hopefully next time it will. You can always book a personalized reading. Please head to my um, Instagram page, Moon Girl Tarot and more. I still would appreciate you guys liking it and following it. Feel free to message me on there to book a personal reading, or if you simply want to say hello. Um, also, um... If you'd like to bless my channel, you can through Cash App, Moon Girl, Terra, and more. Remember to feel free to swap the energies. If it's not you, it's the person you're dealing with or someone in your surroundings. Don't get caught up in gender. Okay, guys? And uh, whenever you do watch this video is when Spirit was really guiding you to receive these messages. So let's just jump right in. So we do have um, Unrequired Love here. Upright, clarified by the Eight of Wands. Upright, clarified by the Magician Reverse. Okay, so what I'm seeing here, and take it how it resonates, guys. Remember swap the energies how it resonates with you um but i'm kind of feeling this might be your energy aries like there is definitely people who um are wanting to get to know you better there is suitors here uh, you definitely have caught people's attention um and i feel like they are trying to come towards you you might just get messages out of nowhere this could be people from the past new people whatever wanting to you know um date you have suitors for sure you could be very much in your power right now. People are viewing you as attractive. Um, however, you might not want to give these people a chance. You might feel like these people are not really worthy of your time. You might feel like they're just liars or fuck boys or fuck girls or they're just trying to get into your pants or vice versa. You just may not feel like this. they're trustworthy, basically, I guess. Um, you might feel like they're just like telling you what you want to hear you're so beautiful oh my god you're so pretty you're so handsome and you're like whatever dude or chick uh soul tie here i'm uh, soul make here and it's in reverse clarified by the hangman upright clarified by the seven of swords reverse okay so some of them here might feel like yeah we can really um make this work i feel like we have a strong connection here a lot of people from the past for sure i feel here uh, maybe a few exes and I feel like at least maybe two exes wanting to come back um, But I feel like you're definitely not into that right now. We have the hangman that's in stagnation You're putting a pause to that you might view this person as a traitor. Maybe they backstabbed you in the past or vice versa um, Yeah, because we have the seven of swords. So there was definitely sneaky behavior However, they might still be thinking of you holding on to you because they do feel like a strong tie with you here but with the Magician in Reverse and the Seven of Swords, yeah, this person basically lied to you. Uh, they would manipulate. I mean, there could have been other people involved in this connection. I'm also picking up for some of you. This person's thinking of sneaky ways to sneak back into your life. Okay? So then let's move forward to Chemistry. Upright, clarified by the Queen of Wands, clarified by the World, clarified by the Four of Swords. So yeah, there was definitely some sort of chemistry here with this person. You guys might still have chemistry or they feel like this is a strong magnetic connection with you, whether you feel it or not. Take it how it resonates. Maybe you're the one who feels it and they don't, whatever. But here you are, Aries. You are being viewed as very attractive. So whatever you're doing, hey, I mean, people find you very beautiful, very handsome, very charming. You can be very um, spiritual as well because the Queen of Wands, she can be spiritual. The cat's there. Um, you could be, you know, dabbling into the arts, spirituality. Um, maybe you, you're a baby witch, whatever. Um, so people are really seeing you as an opportunity. Like they want to get to know you. They want to date you. They want to be with you. They want to start the cycle with you all over again. They feel like they can have success with you. Um, however, I feel like you're pulling back your energy. You're just kind of like, I don't feel like you feel like dating, to be honest. It's like you're taking time to heal yourself from anything in the past. I feel one in particular, one relationship in particular really mind fucked you. And this is why even if there was people afterwards, like you still been holding back the this love that you can give to people, basically, or, or a real relationship. You might have had flings, you might have had people calling you booty calls or trying to get to know you, whatever, but it's like you didn't really give them all of you. But people definitely are coming in. But I feel like right now you just want to be by yourself. You just want to take care of yourself. You want to be single. You're still healing here. For some of you, I feel like there was somebody who was very um, 
nasty with their words. They could have told you really mean things or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. We do have stay optimistic about your love life and it's in reverse. So again, some of you are on pause dating. Maybe you haven't dated in a hot minute. Maybe you've been taking time to get to know yourself, heal yourself. But with all these energies coming in, I mean, you're really questioning yourself. Like maybe I should start dating. I think that you might miss the intimacy with someone here. Um, some of you might, you know, decide to slowly test the waters here with uh, Sagittarius, well, with temperance, which they could be a Sagittarius of significance. Um, doesn't have to be, or you can have your chart. Like some of you might be slowly testing the waters, maybe considering dating again. They could be someone that you're talking to now, or you will be talking to that you're just kind of slowly testing the waters, like I said. Um, but this, this person finds you very attractive, or you could find them very attractive. So there's a lot of sexual energy here for some of you, or there will be. Remember, uh, the wand signifies male phallic, or the woman's woohoo. So someone here really wants to get to know you better, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, let's see at the bottom of the deck. Three of Cups. And yes, it can mean third party or whatever, but what I'm picking up here because under that is a Two of Cups. Someone here wants to have some kind of, they want to reunite with you. So again, people from the past. This could have been a past ex here. This could, this could honestly, I feel like for some of you, you have secret admirers and you don't even know that. There's going to be several people coming towards you, I feel. It could be definitely exes and secret admirers. Some of them, yeah, friends, but they like have crushes on you and they want um, to explore that with you. For some of you, there could definitely be like at least three people here. Six of swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody from the past wanting to come back. Again, exes. But I think you're going to shut that down because with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, I feel that that cycle has completely ended. But boy, will they be persistent. They're still holding on to you or you're still holding on to them. But maybe when you think about them, you're like thinking about them in the best light. Okay. This person could have really like hurt you, betrayed you, made you feel defeated and unworthy. Some of you could have been a commitment with them, like a you could have been a common law, married. Um, it could have you could have talked about that. You could have been with them for a long time here. Some of you could have definitely had children. This connection left you feeling um very hurt, I feel. And it's taken a while for you to heal, and you are healing, but I feel like when you know shit hit the fan, you were extremely hurt here. Restless nights, you probably weren't able to sleep. Again, some of you could have had a family dynamic here, a family unit, 10 in reverse here, an ending, this new beginning. Some of you might have a child with this person or children. For some of you, I do feel there was one that was lost. Somebody here definitely had an abortion. Maybe a miscarriage. Okay. But yeah, this person had options here. Their actions might have confused you at times. Uh, when they come in, they always come in with an offer of love, but it always has some sort of strings attached to it. There was definitely toxic uh, energy here. This person could have been very toxic or they could have been viewing you this way. There could have been a lot of codependency over relying on somebody either emotionally, physically, financially, whatever you could do for them. You felt very bound and stuck, maybe because you did have children with this person or had children. Um... Not everybody, obviously, but um, yeah, there could be a Capricorn of significance as well. I feel like if there's an Aries in the Capricorn, you guys butted head immensely. Anyways, um, this could have been any type of toxic addiction, like I said, or um, codependency, um, any type of addiction, sex. Some of you definitely, I do feel there was some sort of sexual addiction, either by your end or your partner's end. This could have been substance abuse, alcohol, even overeating, overthinking, okay, and not in the good, thinking good thoughts. Somebody here could have definitely ghosted you or vice versa or just picked up and left you, you know, basically. Um, you might have found out that this person was giving to more than one person here, or this could be you, whatever the case may be. Um, basically breadcrumbing you, just giving you a little bit so they can still keep you if they ever need you, but they're really out there with somebody else. Yeah. Uh, love yourself first. So this is what I told you guys earlier that some of you are definitely practicing that self-love 
And even though you have suitors, even though you do find people attractive, you know, you're just working on yourself. You're bossing up. You're becoming the queen of wands. Very much in your power right now. But you do get lonely sometimes. So maybe you're thinking about, okay, slowly trying to date again. And this is why people are finding you very attractive because you put that self-love, you know, and you've probably been single for a while. Yeah, somebody here wants another chance with you. I don't really see you wanting to give this person a chance. Um, you could be at a distance from this person geographically, if not emotionally. Some of you could be meeting people online. Yeah, there's a lot of flirting online. I'm going to be real. You guys are going back and forth. Or you could be getting like messages back and forth from people online. It could be dating sites or there could just be Facebook, Instagram, whatever. I hear a lot of people, hey, beautiful. Hey, pretty girl. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, yeah, this person definitely needs to heal family issues. But I don't feel that those issues have anything to do with you. These were like childhood, is uh, childhood issues that stemmed from when they were like growing up. Possibly with the parents. Somebody here could have had a very detached uh, father. Yeah. Release your ex. Some of you are releasing this person and don't want to go back. Or release them already. You don't feel like that connection was worth it anymore. What I told you guys earlier that there could be children of significance. There could have been a child that was lost here. Also, this is somebody who wants a new beginning with you. Yeah, they might be ready to want to come in and commit now. Like, they feel like they've changed. They want to bring you stability now. At least that's what they're saying. They could be a tourist of significance as well. Um, okay, over here, messages. This could have been a love-hate connection. I care too much about what others think. So some of them, you know, like what their family thinks, what their friends thinks. Maybe you guys would do the back and forth. And when you all did that, they were talking all this shit about you. Or you were talking all this shit about them. Now they're kind of embarrassed. Like, what do we get back together? We're going to be that couple. Or, you know, they could have just been talking shit, basically. Um, yeah. Oh, for sure. Heavy trust issues here. Heavy trust issues. Also, I feel like definitely this person was hurt in the past and brought those issues here with you as well. I don't love myself, so how can I love you? So again, this person may not really love themselves. And maybe that's why they weren't really ready to give you a real commitment or connection here. If you're wondering about something, the answer is not now. Let's see. Um, emotions are natural and a necessary part of life but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Yeah, some of you are still holding on to that hurt and that pain. Lo look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. All right, my fiery Aries, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading was at least of some help. If it was, please make sure to give it a thumbs up or share it. I 